Okay, so uh, double checking on this math, but this this last problem we just did, I got negative 5.57 range per second squared for alpha of CD and negative 12.5 for um, <coughs> alpha of um, CB. Uh, but overall, for a problem number four on our test, <clears throat> you already know the type of problem it's going to be. I would just, whatever you feel more comfortable with, either instantaneous centers or relative velocity. If if you have trouble finding that instantaneous center, if you get it wrong half of the time, don't do instantaneous center. Because if you try instantaneous center and show me a very wrong location for the instantaneous center, that's kind of a big, you know, that's a big mistake. I think relative velocity, the mistakes are going to be smaller math errors. Um, <clears throat> but um, anyway... Use either relative velocity or instantaneous center to find the um, to find obviously what it's asking for, but also finding this angular velocity uh, because you're going to need that for the acceleration. Acceleration, you've got um, no choice; got to use relative acceleration. And just make a note, just kind of make a note to remind yourself: Hey, point this point is a normal tangential path. Uh, so don't forget it's normal acceleration in addition to the tangential acceleration. Um, but, you know, you, you can write that equation and then just start breaking this down into small problems. Here's a small problem in itself. Hey, what is the acceleration of C? These four terms. Here's a small problem in itself. Hey, what is the acceleration of B? Right here. Then you can start plugging it in. Alpha cross, so this is plus alpha cross R and minus omega squared times R right there okay but um i think this problem is going to be hard it's going to be difficult maybe the longest problem on the test uh but i kind of think it's straightforward uh you know we've got our methods and our methods always work every time um so you know uh i, I don't know it's 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 a tough one just don't spend an hour on one problem um, and also, here we go, uh, you need to show me the second half of this problem. You, you can't spend an hour on the first half of this problem and only get to here. If for some reason you can't not figure this out, then you need to tell me, okay, I, I'm going to assume uh, this omega is, is 10 so that I can show you that I, I can do the second half of the problem, which is the acceleration part of the problem. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I've, I've got, the, you know, this, the first half is weighted a certain amount, second half is weighted a certain amount, and so if you don't show me anything for the second half of the problem, you know, I'm not going to give you any credit uh, for it. So, um, you know, the, you know do, do, the, do the best you can. Think ahead. Think about that um, for this problem on the test.